aimen to hunam, ye aimen to hunam, in chai pia power, no mimant. No mimant to kaiva with you no monsimo. In chai pia power, Buvang in a high pung si ho would watch you. In chai pia pa. For Pavak, Moho no more, Sunango be on one wine. The clouds come over and they give rain, snow, rain, and it and it hits down to the to the earth and it replenishes the earth with with those plants. And the four legged they go to the to the water and they drink it. And the, even the bird people. The winged people go to the water and they drink the water. And we believe the water is a, is a sacred thing. It's a giver of life and a taker of life. The Inu Cape, old people, they say, the creator that we believe in, he put all these things down for a purpose. And you can't, um, you can't desecrate those purposes. You can't, um, you can't do things with it. You can't mess with it because it'll, it'll um, unbalance the, um, those beings that are in the, in the water. They have a place on this earth and they had a place then and they, they, they had a place where they, they fed us also too because there's there plenty of them. I think people that come down into the Colorado River, they gotta open their minds up and look, look down into it and, and, um, and see and think how it was before. You know, you gotta think of the people that were there first. The Paiutes, the Wallapais, the Havasupais, the Hopi. You know, these people that were there before. The uh, Colorado River, um and is what we call it in Zuni. It's uh, actually the place where our people emerge from the fourth underworld at a place called Ribbon Falls. And um, we've always heard that information from our elders. We're actually coming to sites where they actually lived, planted, had their ceremonies. Both my grandfathers were medicine men. They were the leaders of the society that I am the leader of now. So the information that I received from them growing up only uh, makes it that much more gratifying than to come here because they never had a chance to come down here. It was only through information from their elders that they passed this on. And so um, using that information and identifying petroglyphs, identifying sites, coming to springs, uh, all these places that, um, that they that they used when they were down here. Information left behind um, is like a library, it's like a, a, a place where we can stop and learn from our ancestors because our whole, whole history of where we came from is down here.